All right, put the circuit together just to demonstrate how an optocoupler, a photocoupler works. Basically, it's this component right here. It looks like an integrated circuit. It's got the two legs on each side. Plastic housing with epoxy or whatever. One side, this is designed for isolating circuits, like this side of the board from this line, that way is one circuit and from this side, this way, is another circuit. Now, if this was very high voltage, then what would happen, you wouldn't want this high voltage coming anywhere into contact with another part of your circuit that's lower voltage, because if there was ever a problem here and something failed, this high voltage would cut across and destroy this whole side of the circuit. So they use these for isolating. Inside this chip is an LED, an infrared LED, real tiny. It runs on 1.2 volts. 20 milliamps. This side of the component has a phototransistor with just a collector coming in and emitter going out. So now I'm going to demonstrate. On this side I have this circuit set up. I have the emitter going into the base of the transistor. Now depending what this value is, the 10K, this regulates how much current is going to flow through. So if you make that higher you have less flowing through. If you make that lower, it'll be more current going through. So right over here is where my 12-volt uh, parking lamp is between the 12-volt supply and the collector. All right, And this 12-volt also goes into the collector of the phototransistor, and then the emitter goes out, and then the emitter on the transistor goes to ground. I'm going to demonstrate how this light comes on without touching that side of the circuit. I'm going to touch the battery right here, 1 volt. Alright, so you might think I'm turning the light on with this battery, but I'm not. I'm turning the LED on, which is shining the light on the phototransistor, which is activating this circuit. Now, you could use this for a lot of different uses, but I was thinking about using it as a relay in a circuit because this can, if you run it through a transistor or even a MOSFET, an N channel MOSFET, you could draw a lot of current through this because this component only, you're only going to be using like 50 milliamps, not even, maybe 30 all the work's going to be done through the transistor. So this would be a great relay if you didn't want to use a relay. And then you won't have to worry about contacts going bad either. What you would do is something like this right here. You have a high voltage section. All right? And it's feeding one side of the optocoupler into the LED right here, the infrared. So now you got the high voltage on this side, you got low voltage on this side. When this circuit activates, the light comes on inside, shines across, and it gets picked up by the phototransistor, activating this circuit. Great little circuit.